Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to do a planner flip through of my Franklin Covey planner. If you are new here, hi, my name is Tanya. I make videos on functional planning. If you like planner flip throughs like this, please be sure to click on my playlist that's on the pink screen at the end of this video. So this is my Franklin Covey binder. This is called the Anna. It is a black leather binder and it is very handsome. This is the spine and this is the back. There is a zipper here for organization and honestly I never put anything in the zipper. I'm very funny about putting things in my zipper especially if they're lumpy because I don't want to write over lumpy pages. So if I put anything in zippers or in my planner pockets most of the time it is flat things like this is flat right here. Like I mentioned this is a Franklin Covey binder. I have a discount promo code for you that will help you save 15% off your entire order. The promo code is Tanya Plans. 21. That's Tanya Plans 21. In this binder, there are loads of organization. There is a pocket here. There is another zip pocket here. And this pocket is gusseted so that it can expand out if you put a lot of items in the pocket. There is also a slot here for documents. I have several card slots, as you can see here. And in the clear card slot, I have my name in a holographic foil. This is actually a decal that is on a white card that I placed there. In the the card slots I have some Hobonichi stencil here is a black page lifter you will notice over here I have some page flags and I got these page flags from cloth and paper and here are some of the page flags here on these page flags I put some healthy snacks on there and what I do is while I have my planner open on planner pages I'll just take one of these page flags and stick it on my planner page and that reminds me to eat a healthy snack the reason why I put these on these page flags is because I tend to eat the same snacks over and over again and this way I don't have to write it over and over again in my planner and this can serve as a reminder on my planner page of what I should be eating. So let me just take a moment and talk to you about the ink pen I am loving right now. This is called the Sarasa Dry Air Fit Grip Pen. It is a roller ball pen and what I love about it, well there are a lot of things I love about this pen but one is this cushiony grip here and this helps prevent hand fatigue. This is an extreme comfortable pen. I also like that it has this clip here. So instead of me fussing with trying to get my pen in these pen loops, there are two pen loops in this binder by the way. I don't fuss with that. I simply take the clip and I'll clip my pen in like that. It just seems to be much easier and that way I'm not stretching the elastic out on my binder if I should decide to sell it later. So over here in this plastic insert, it can be used to put pictures in or you could put business cards in it. Right here is a clear card card that I got from the cloth and paper subscription box. Right here is a picture of my family. This is me, Tanya Plans. This is my husband, my daughter who's now 15, and my son who is now 26. On the back here are some more page flags, and here are some square page flags. This is a moon card that I got from, I believe it was Sessa V, and I bought some of her planner products. Again, I'll link everything below. But I was interested in this because it had the moon phases. These are like journaling cards that she had on her website site with the different moon phases and the dates of the moon phases. And on the back, I wrote a goal that I have with YouTube. I have a goal to try to reach 10,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2022. Please take a look at how many subscribers I currently have. You will see that I am far away from that number right now. So please help me out by subscribing if you would like to. Here is a sticker sheet that I got from a company called Two Little Bees. I love her stickers. They are great quality. The paper is good quality. There's no issues with the printing on the paper. These are simply border stickers, and you can see I used some of them already. So there's a pink border on the outside and white on the inside. I use this to make my appointment stand out, and I'll show you that on my planner pages in a minute. Here are a couple of meal planning sheets where it has the days of the week down here, and you put your shopping list right here. This is a pretty piece of vellum that I purchased from a company called Sadie Stickers, and again, I will link that below. I cut it down, put whole in it and it's just for beautification in my planner. Here is my favorite Bible verse. So now we're getting into the Franklin Covey planner pages. In the front are all of my monthlies. This is a month spread across two pages. Now the first thing that you will notice are probably these page flags. The reason why is because I often have to change when I'm going to publish a video. When you have something in your plans that change often, page flags or sticky notes are very helpful. So here I had a 
video planned where I was going to do a video on the Monticello day on one page planner, which is what you're going to see here. And I've already published that video, by the way, because I work full time. I am a mother. I am a wife. I have a lot of things going on and I'm a YouTuber. A lot of times I will have to move my YouTube videos around because it depends on what is going on in my schedule. My family comes first. I don't put YouTube in front of my family, to be quite honest. When you see these squiggly lines, that's me using the Hobonichi stencils that you see here. There is a wavy line here and I'll simply just do a wave. Here I wrote down that I have to give my dog her heart and worm medicine. Here I wrote down where my kids had a dental appointment. Here is a little sticker and these are just the cutest stickers in the world. I got this little nail appointment sticker from this book. It's called So Many Planner Stickers and I highly recommend her stickers. I will put the referral link below but she has such cute stickers and I just want to show you this real quick and I'll get back to the planner flip through. But look at this. These are little don't forget stickers but notice the different complexions of the hands. She thinks of everything because everyone is not the same complexion. I love that she has that diversity in her stickers. My paydays are marked with this green dollar sign symbol. I have work related appointments on my planner here and you'll see I have some washi tape. When there's an event that runs over several days I will use washi tape. I am subscribed to the Simply Gilded subscription box and I will put a referral link for them below but they have some beautiful beautiful washi tape and in my referral link if you spend $15 you can save $5 so just wanted to mention that. So here we are in the month of August. I had my daughter's school orientation here. You'll see these two little airplanes. This is like, it's from that sticker book I just showed you. This is when we took a trip to Florida. So I have some other things up here on my planner. Here I have that my library books are due. I am an avid reader. I love to read and I don't want to be late with my library books because I've been late before and they charge fines. Here I use some page flags of some things that I was planning to do on Instagram. Stories, Instagram TV live, a live, a reel, a story. And I was going to take these flags and rotate them. Honestly, I just have not had time to really post on Instagram like I want to because of all the things I've mentioned before but I really want to get more into Instagram with all the other things going on my main platform is YouTube this right here is washi tape and it is the cutest thing these are books I love to read and here is the cute little book washi tape that I was talking about it is so adorable now I don't do a lot of washi tape and stickers on my channel that is not the focus but I do like to put a little washi tape and stickers and decoration in my planner from time to time if I have time. So just flipping through my monthly planner pages, you can see I had videos planned all out and I have a little secret. I've been kind of cheating on my Franklin Covey planner. What? I have been trying out another planner, which I'll be doing a video on. You will see that some of these pages are blank. So going on through these pages, this planner is called Monticello on the Franklin planner website and it is the one page per day planner. I like that the lines are light on this planner and see how it doesn't really compete with my ink pen. However, I had a problem with this planner on the daily pages and I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is a day on one page planner. That means that this is one day and this is one day. And this section is a to do list. There's an appointment schedule section here with the times written right here. Then down the bottom is a section for notes. This is a whole day and this is a whole day. And these sticky notes I am attempting to cover up some private information. So what I typically do is I will break my to-do list up into a personal section and a work section. Now if it was an extremely stressful day and I just had a whole bunch of competing priorities then I might use the Franklin Covey system to prioritize my task with the letters A, B, and C and the numbers after that. I did a video explaining the planning symbols and how to prioritize your task and I will put that in the upper right hand corner of this video. I have a note here to call my nephew's school to let them know that I will be picking him up early for an appointment. Down here I have some work items that I need to complete that day. I also have a note to ask my co-worker about his dog. Sometimes I do that to show compassion. I sometimes forget about what is going on with other people. I use my planner to be a better person to make sure I follow up with people on the things that are going on in their lives and to talk to them about what's important to them. Over here is the appointment schedule with the times written in. I have a reminder here to get my nails done. Now these are those stickers that I showed you at the beginning of this video 
show, I wanted to make my appointment stand out because I feel like my ink pen competes with these lines. The lines are black and my ink pen is black and it kind of bothers my eyes. I will not be getting this format again because I just can't take how dark the lines are. I wish that they will update the Monticello inserts to make the lines like a light gray as they are on the monthly planning pages here. This color line is perfect. I wrote a note about what I ate that day. I have a 1.30 meeting. Under here, I am writing my telework log. I have to give a report on what I work on each day. Here is a section on my telework log on some main things that I got accomplished that day. Another thing I did not like about the Monticello format is because of the blue and the dark lines, it is extremely hard to decorate and be creative with this planner. Here is some washi tape that I put up here. I think it looks awful. It just is not a neutral enough format, in my opinion, to use washi tape and stickers. The most neutral format that Franklin Planner has, and I stuck a page or two in here, is the Carrera format. But it is a day on two pages. They don't have a real neutral format for a day on one page, unfortunately. The most neutral I feel that I'm going to get is by using the original day on one page planner. This is the original day on one page planner. I have not opened it yet, but I have this. As you can see, there's the green there. So I plan to do a video on this if you want to see what's included with these inserts. I also purchased the weekly Monticello planner to match my daily planner pages. And this is how the format look. It is a week across two pages. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth. Saturday and Sunday shares a column here. And at the bottom of each day is a section for daily tasks. Again, I found that the lines competed with my ink pen and it was hard to use washi tape and planner stickers with this format. And here is a week where I decided to plan out my week. I don't use my weeklies every time. So I think I would probably benefit by having an undated weekly spread so that I can use it when I want to. Down here, I use a sticker to keep up with my Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook stat. What I did here is I used the Hobonichi stencil. Here's my daughter's hair appointment. So I ignored this daily task down here. So like here's a reminder that I need to fold clothes this week. I need to change the sheets on the bed this weekend. Now here is a format where I tried to use stickers and I tried to cover the days of the week with these stickers. But again, I don't think it looks good because of all the blue on the page and all of the lines. With this format, I really went to town. I want to quickly show you this. I put the stickers at the top. I need sections in my planner. What I use this horizontal format for is to break up sections for work or break up sections of things to buy. I broke up a section on things I need to pay. I broke up sections on the teenagers in my home and etc. After the weekly planner pages, I just have some blank lined paper. And honestly, I never really liked to use the blank lined paper because I felt like my notes were scattered when I used the blank lines paper. I know I could use planner tabs to keep the pages together, but because I take planner pages in and out of my binder a lot, I take pictures for Instagram and YouTube. It feels like when I write notes, they end up never in one place. So I know that sounds crazy. So I'm going to talk about that's why I use a notebook like this and I'll get to that in a moment. Here's a page that lists the holidays and observances. There's another blank page. These are future planning calendars. So if I have to plan out for dates that are not in my planner here, I can plan out for the future with these calendar pages. These are great because you can see even if you're trying to plan a doctor's appointment in another year, you can see the holidays and everything on with this format and it'll help you make your appointment and plan accordingly. And here are some more future planning pages. These future planning pages go out to 2026. Here I wrote a note that my driver's license expires in 2028. So I didn't have a page for 2028. So I wrote it here on a notes page. Here are some cutaway sheets. That's why these are shorter. You can still see the date information and sometimes quotes at the top of the pages if you use these cutaway sheets. Here are a few more blank line pages. And then here I have both of the teenagers in my home, their school schedule. So lastly, in this back pockets, I like to use these notebooks. So this is a hand stitched notebook that I got in a Simply Gilded subscription box. And it is a B6 size notebook. And the notebook is dot grid. And this is my YouTube notebook. When you guys leave comments underneath my video, and you give me a good idea of a video that you would like to see in the future. And by the way, I don't mind you doing that. If there's a video that you would like me to do in the future, please be sure to put that in the comments. I'm always open to those suggestions. I will put those in here. And I like the 
that this notebook is thin, it's easy to slip in and out of my planner. And plus, I like to change these notebooks often. Another notebook that I have that I use often, this is a planner love stitch notebook from the Franklin Covey website. And it has way more pages in it than this notebook does. But this is a little small notebook. And this is for my work notes. We're going through an IT integration for our finance system. So I'm putting all of the work notes in here and it is stitched. The beauty of a stitch notebook is that it will lie flat. You don't have to worry about your hand running into coils or anything like that. All of my work notes are here. All of my YouTube notes are here. I like that it is in a bounded notebook and not feeling like it's loose leaf paper in a ring bound binder, if that makes sense. For 2022, I was planning to go with the original day on one page planner, but since then I decided to get a larger planner because I'm working from home and I don't need the portability of a smaller planner. I want to get a full eight and a half by 11 planner. So that is my plan for 2022. Please let me know if you have any comments. Please feel free to leave a comment. I love talking to you guys about planners. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget, please click on the playlist if you want to see more of my planner flip throughs. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.